Hey, what is up everybody? This is me, the ITK Chico, and today we'll be taking a look at Byte SMS. Byte SMS is one of the most popular tweaks out there for iOS 6, and now it's actually compatible with iOS 7 as well. Now, the one I've got right here is the beta version, so it's still in beta, so it's not really publicly out as of yet. So, in order to get your beta version, you need to go to Cydia, you need to add a source, which I will be showing you guys right now. Uh, the source is test sms.com I will leave the link down below in the description. Then do a search for Byte SMS and go ahead and install it. Now the first thing is that it actually replaces your iMessage app. So I don't really have my iMessage app anywhere. So this basically replaces that. So let's take, take a quick look at Quick Compose feature, which basically is that you go and tap your volume button and then you go ahead and tap this and bam, as you guys can see now, I can com quickly compose or I can send a reply to a to any message directly from here. And you can do this from from your lock screen as well. So as you guys can see, the way towards the right hand side, we have a few options as well. So I can open it up in uh, uh, by the SMS. I have pop up, which basically gives me these emojis and the ability to add photos. I can also send it from here. I have close, I can also close this pop-up window, I can also Skype or FaceTime to this particular email address. So I'll actually go ahead and send, and now it's going to go ahead and send it, this particular message to my iPad too. So I'm going to go ahead and reply, so I'll say hey. As you guys can see, I have this pop-up window, and I can quickly reply to this from here as well. So I can say, send templates, pop-up, delete, forward. Sky face, and so I still get those features here or those options here as well. Also, if you go ahead and say later, it's going to go ahead and put it in your notification center. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look at the notification center. And if I go ahead and tap here, I'm also able to reply to this message directly from notification center as well. So I'll say, uh, How are you? and then I can say, Send, and that's it. Now it's gone, and I've got it on my iPad too. So let's actually open up Byte SMS, and as you guys can see, it looks quite like uh, I, the iMessage app. The only glitch here is for the iPad version is right here. This should be towards the right hand side, so that's kind of like messed up. But again, we have also like options to add emojis as well. Uh, also, if you go to settings, we have things like Quick Compose. You can also have themes, which is not really ready for this beta. Uh, but we also have things like Quick Compose, Quick Reply. And as you guys can see, you can also set an activator method as well to invoke this feature. Again, this is not ready for the beta. So as of right now, it's only volume and tap. But again, you have other options as well. Or you can add any activator method as well to invoke this feature. Uh, so that's other things as well. Right from here, you can also add a password lock as well. You have auto forward. You have signatures, you have templates, stuff like that. So again, this is beta. Now, sorry, byte SMS. Again, this is in beta version. Uh, but this is really, really awesome tweet, guys. I absolutely love how I can reply to my messages directly from Notification Center. So I thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, you can go ahead and add the repo and you can get this for yourself as well. So let me know what you guys think of Byte SMS for iOS 7. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace out.